by Dole. Um, so th 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 these are the um, regulations that govern intellectual property. One of the reasons why it's important to know them and to actually read them, it's worth reading the whole thing. It really is worth spending just, just, just an hour or so and, and, and reading through um, by Dole. Because the, the thing is, I, I was teaching um, a class of graduate students before, and um, what, what, one of the graduate students was being really snotty about how um, now that he um, was a graduate student at uh, Penn State, he had to sign away all his intellectual property rights to the university. And this is the university just being grabby, wanting to control everything that um, he invents. Um, and you know, he, was, he, he, he was bitter about it. And I know that his attitude is something that um, many faculty members share. And they, 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 they think that this is just um, their, their, their universities being bullies on this point and saying, well, we employ you, so we have the right to control you and own all of your intellectual property. The fact is, if that graduate student or any of our faculty members were working for private companies, the private companies would take that stance. They would say, we own everything that you do. Um, maybe we'll give you a bonus at the end of the year if you do great work for us, maybe we won't. But we're going to own any intellectual property that you develop. Universities aren't being grabby when we go to our graduate students and our postdocs and our faculty members and we ask them to assign intellectual property to the universities. We are following by Dole. We're doing what we are required to do. Because when inventions are made with federal funds, we have to disclose those inventions to the federal government. And we can't perform that function if our graduate students and faculty members don't disclose their inventions to us. We need to be able to assign rights to the federal government, government use rights to be able to use that technology and to be able to march in if they ever want to be able to um, use that technology in an emergency basis if they don't feel like we're commercializing it properly. Um, the government has certain rights in intellectual property that we develop with federal funds. We can't assign those rights to the federal government if we don't have ownership of the intellectual property. So we don't have a choice in the matter. It's not like if we were nicer we would let our faculty members and graduate students just keep their intellectual property. It says in Baidol, specifically, it says in, um, it's 37 CFR 401.14, but if you go into 401.14, it's specifically in um, F1, section F1. It's, it's not that difficult to read. It, it, it's longer than the regulation that David was mentioning earlier, but it's not that difficult to read. In F1 is where it says you're required to have um, employees sign something, assigning it to the university so that we can then fulfill our disclosure and assignment responsibilities. Um, but the other thing it says in Baidol that this graduate student didn't realize and that our faculty members don't realize is Baidol is also where it says that we have to share our royalties with the inventors. It says that in K2. So unlike if they were to go work for private industry where they wouldn't necessarily have any rights to what they developed, when they're developing intellectual property at, at a, a university, they are getting a share of the royalties being developed. And then Baidol also says the rest of the money that we don't share with the inventors, we have to plow back into the research infrastructure. 